coming into the fight, I will be a lot lighter. I think angles, angles and speed. Joshua is a big guy with a lot of power who comes forward and chase you down. But if I give him angles and movement, it will give him a bit of trouble. So that's what I'm looking to do. The fight with Joshua is very close. We've had a bit of a pause as we find middle ground where both teams are happy. But I think we've come to a conclusion. We're just going to tidy things up, lock it in and get the fight going. We want to lock something in before Christmas so we can all have a holiday and enjoy it and then hit camp. I've said many times I respect him as a fighter and I respect him as a champion and I look forward to when we clash. I think it's going to be a great fight. Those are the words of WBO heavyweight world champion Joseph Parker. Negotiations with a unification, sorry, negotiations for a unification with IBF and WBA champion Anthony Joshua are in the advanced stages where it's actually close to being signed. I'd like to say kudos to both guys here, especially if they do get it signed, you know, kudos. Parker has always been a guy that seems completely unafraid of the competition. A guy who wants to fight the best and is not bothered about putting his O on the line. you got to respect that about Joseph Parker. At the end of the day, some people are going to say, well, it's a situation that is driven by, by necessity because unless he goes out there and fights the likes of a, a Joshua, etc., he's never going to see the big money. And that's understood. But still, you'll be surprised how many fighters are happy to stay in their comfort zone and not go after the big money, <laughs> you know, just stay within the confines of their home country and do it that way. Whereas Parker's got ambition. He's already been to the UK to fight Huey Fury, you know, not that Huey Fury was a cash cow or anything, but it was a risky fight for him. And he did that. He fought Carlos Takam, he fought Andy Ruiz, Andy Ruiz was unbeaten. Huey Fury was unbeaten, you know, so... Parker's out there and he's, as I say, ambitious. So respect to him for that. Drop your comments in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel about this information. Do you think the fight's actually going to happen? If it does, who do you think is going to win? And lastly, it's interesting to touch here on what Joseph Parker said about his tactics for this fight. Unusual, actually, that he's been so upfront about his tactics because then Joshua can prepare for it. Maybe it's a bluff. Maybe he's not really going to use these tactics. But he said he's going to come in a lot lighter than Joshua, use angles and speed. So he's essentially going to try and replicate what he did against Andy Ruiz and Carlos Takem. And also what Takem himself did against Joshua. He's going to try to do what Takem did, but better because he is taller than Takem. He's faster than Takem. He's lighter on his feet than Takem. So maybe he'll be able to use those kind of tactics in a similar fashion. But more effectively. So we'll see. Let me know how you feel in the comment section below, people. It's happening. I'm out.